tutorial for the Train Red app. Start by opening the app on your phone. You may immediately start with the good stuff. Press or measure on the taskbar. Then select between free training, protocol training or a test. Select your sport, type of training and then choose the device you wish to use. Connect the sensor, place the sensor on the correct muscle and set its position in the app. Then click next to start the measurement. Check as well if the sensor is advertising with a white light. That means the sensor is connected and already started the measurement. But before you start, make sure you are in the rest position for 10 seconds. This will make sure that your baseline values are correct. And there you go. Explore real-time metrics in the graph or on the dashboard. Keep an eye on their muscle oxygen levels and much more. Now, let's take a moment to explore the dynamics of a muscle contraction. Essentially, when a muscle contracts, the demand exceeds the supply of oxygen to the muscle. As illustrated in the graph, this results in a decrease in muscle oxygen levels. When seizing the contraction, the opposite effect occurs and muscle oxygen levels increase. In the context of strength training, our new smart rest feature allows for precise quantification of the optimal restoration between sets. For more, check also our new live feature to share your training sessions on your socials. During the training, you can also customize the display of the data in the settings. Choose between muscle trend or muscle state and select your preferred metrics for the dashboard. Once your session is finished, stop the training. Afterwards, you can name the training or write any important notes you have. Save the changes and open the session on the home page to go back to the training review. Click on the graph to dive into detailed data. Choose all the metrics you have used during the session and analyze it in a separate way or together. Use the bar under the graph to choose a specific part of the training. Then go back and assess the training's intensity by examining the average time spent in different muscle states. Additionally, you can also explore the average duration of rest, mainly during strength trainings or interval trainings. And at last, you can analyze the distribution of the muscle states per lap for a more detailed analysis. Afterwards, you can also export your session in CSV or FIT format. It's just a click away in the top right corner.